Hello, welcome back to Drew's Lab. Now, tonight we're going to look at the, the unicorn of scopes that nobody actually knew was coming. It's the Pulsar N355. But, I have to say, it's actually a very good scope. <laughs> so, let's have a wee look at it tonight and just talk you through some of the stuff. Um, it comes here, it's got the housing, I think these housings, uh, Pulsar's kind of standardised them. They're the same as the trail unit. And it's got the B-pack on it. The button's exactly the same as a trail unit. Rather, here, it's got the USB port for downloading the stuff. Rather, here, and have a heat sink with a the thermal scope, it's got the bit for the weaver rail. And this plug here, which it comes with this external IR, which you can see here. Now, that IR is actually quite good. Um, it works for about 100, 120 yards. But I've taken it off because I was using an external one to get the real distance. We've got a lever for the B pack here. B pack's good, it lasts five hours. You get a 10 hour version that's slightly thicker. The focus is up here for this scope. It's got the on off, which is here. But it also comes with this, and for me, this was the best thing about this scope was the hand wheel. Now, like some of the older Pulsar scopes, uh, they use the hand wheel on the side. Um, to scroll through the menu. I find these buttons a wee bit awkward sometimes in the dark and this really really makes it easy to use. This button here activates the recorder but you can also access the menu, switch it on and off, work the zoom here and zoom it in and out with that and it is really really easy to use. It's brilliant. A couple of other wee things that I liked on it, it's essentially a, an N970 internal, the, the chip in it, the sensor, but one of the things I really liked about it um, Apart from this hand wheel that made it superbly easy to use, um, was it has got a colour function in it, and everybody's like, ah, oh, I've seen a wee bit of it, but the colour function was actually really quite good. And it, sometimes it looked a wee bit like a thermal, but it actually improves the picture. The picture's really good, it zooms right up to 14 mag, kind of loses it a wee bit after 11, but you know, 7 8 mag, it's really good, out to a couple of hundred yards, it's quite a capable scope. Um, it retails for about the 12 1300 pound mark. It comes with a charging, but you just plug that in, it's USB charger, but it comes with a plug, um, and it also comes with an USB cap, which you can put on here, and it's got a wee rubberized cap, and you can put it on that, but actually my first impressions was good. We tried it, I'll put some of the videos on with this, but we also tried it with a couple of external IRs, we've used the Nightmaster, and we also used the Paul Baker IR. And you can see what the difference will be with them. But overall, um, if you were just shooting rabbits or something out to 100 yards, you would only need that IR. But if you want to shoot foxes out to distance, we certainly recommend one of these two. You will see, I think I'm going to do another video on the comparison of these two units. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Um, it's worth checking this scope out.